Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Take 5 with Kaiser where I give you guys 5 tips on a subject matter that you guys have requested. Now, today's episode is something that I get asked all the time. If you guys are an artist, I'm pretty sure you have experienced this issue as well as I have and that is artist block. Artist block is one of the craziest things that happens to any type of creative person or any person in general where it's not just artist block but it's just a block where you're like man i just don't know what i should be doing or how i can go about that and there are ways to get over it and i'm here to give you my top five tips on how to get over it so let's get into tip number one Tip number one is inspiration. Inspiration is key to getting over artist block. One of the things that I suggest to my students is that they either have an inspiration folder or a digital folder. I personally like tangible things, so I wanna make sure that I have a book or a picture or toys or something that is gonna make me actually touch it and play it and go forward and go, oh wow, that was really cool. But you can also just have a regular digital file of pictures and videos and articles and stories or anything that has made you go wow that was really good because I can guarantee you this the more that you look at things that inspire you the more you're gonna want to get into drawing painting sculpting coding whatever it is that you do that you are having problems with that you are experiencing this artist block with if you have something that you like and you go wow that was really good wow that looks awesome wow i really want to do that i guarantee you the more that you look at it the more you're going to want to do your own work and it is very simple take 10 15 minutes out of your day and look at some stuff that you're like wow okay yes that's really good that's really awesome i want to do that too and if you have some really good reference material or inspiration material it will not take that long to get you energized to move forward and try and do something new. I highly recommend you guys get some inspirational stuff around you because that's what's gonna help you get past artist block. We all experience it, I experience it, and it's key that when you're staring at your paper or your cameras or your computer and you're like, I got nothing, is that you actually put that work away and then go look at some something inspirational. Go watch a movie, go play a video game, Go look at some actual art, go to a museum, go do something that is gonna make you feel inspired to move forward. And it's very, 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 very simple. If you start today, just go on Pinterest or on Instagram, YouTube, wherever you get content from, and then just save a couple of them and then keep it in a folder so that every time you're like, man, I don't, I don't got it. You can click on it and open it. This is also something that you can do right from the get. So if you know for a fact that you are going to actually have to draw and or paint or whatever the case may be and you want to make sure that you can draw or paint or sculpt to the utmost ability it's just like warming up so if you start and give yourself five or ten minutes and just flip through some of the stuff that you're like this is amazing and then start doing whatever it is that you do and warm yourself up I guarantee you artist block is not going to be that big a deal because you're already going to feel energized and you want to move forward. So give it a try. Get yourself a folder, an inspirational folder, or some art books or some toys or something like that, and then always have it with you so that when you are experiencing artist block, you can jump right into looking at it, feeling great, feeling inspired, and then jump right into your own work. All right, tip number two. Tip number two is an interesting one because it's really, really hard for people to accept that they actually have to find a new friends group. <laughs> now, I'm not saying that you have to ditch your friends. No, that's not what I'm saying. But you have to have a group of people that are pushing you, that are inspiring you to move forward. So just like in tip number one, where you have to find some inspirational stuff to get you motivated to move forward, if you are the top of your creative group, if you are the top dog and everybody's looking at you going, wow, man, that's really good. I'll never be able to do that. I'll never be able to do this. How'd you do that? How'd you do that? But if you're the top dog, you need to find some other creatives that will help you get better and move along because artist block comes from you not being challenged or you not wanting to 
grow or anything like that. And the only way that happens is if you're already at the top of the mountain. So you have to look at something or you gotta have people that are close to you because inspiration and looking at some of these professionals and being like, wow, man, that person's up there. They've done 20 years. I'll never be able to reach that. Or one day I hope to reach that. That's great, right? But they're not close to you. They're not the ones that you can actually touch and be like, hey, how did you do that? Wow, you're just doing that? And I know that a lot of people are like, oh, well, that's competition. And so if I'm not a competitive person, so that's not gonna work for me. Yes, it is competitive when you look at another person and be like, wow, I wanna be like that, or I wanna beat that person. But if you have that around you to where people are making fantastic work, they push you, they motivate you to go forward. And then you can't look back and be like, oh, well, I guess I'm not doing anything today. Right? Because when you meet up with your friends or with this artistic group, they're gonna be like, look at all the stuff that I've done. Right? And it's gonna motivate you to move forward. And you don't have to do it physically, especially in this pandemic era that we're in right now. You can do it online. There's Facebook groups. You can set up a Google group. You can set up all kinds of stuff that you can do this digitally and do something weekly. I currently have a weekly accountability group and we post things every Sunday to where it's like, okay, this is what I've been working on and it cannot be work, right? If here's something creative that I've been working on and every week you're like, oh my goodness, I gotta get something done. So you instantly have to do something and other people are looking at it going, oh wow, you know, well, maybe you can do this or they give you suggestions and look at what I've done. And that really, really motivates you to keep going because you want, you don't wanna be the person at the bottom of the barrel, <laughs> right? And if your group is way up here, you're gonna be putting forth even more effort and you're gonna keep trying. And so that's very, very important. So that if you have a group of friends or a group of creatives where you're the top dog, you need to push them off to the side. I know that's harsh to hear, but you need to push them off to the side and go find another group of artistic people or creative people that are gonna help motivate you to move forward. Not saying you can't be friends with these people, but you need a new group that's gonna help push you and and help you grow so that you don't plateau because what mostly happens when people hit artist block is they're plateauing and they're just like i don't i don't feel it i'm not feeling it and so if you have the means to go hey i have this group of people that i really really enjoy and they're really really good at what they're doing but i'm not there yet you will strive to get up there and that will instantly help you become better artists and get you out of artist block because like I said, you're gonna strive to get better and better and better. And that's what leads into tip number three. Yes, yes, I know. Tip number three is such a teacher answer. <laughs> and you know, you're just like, Ugh, but I don't want to, I don't wanna study. I thought I was done with that. I don't wanna study. But, but hear me out, okay? Just hear me out on this one. Studying your craft where you know you have to do something is going to help you get motivated to move forward. And here's why. Because the hardest thing when you look at that blank piece of paper is that it's blank. And you don't wanna ruin that very beautiful blank piece of paper, right? And so you're like, oh man, I don't know. That first mark, it could be important. And you know, it's gonna ruin, it's gonna set the tone and but whatever. But if you're going, well, I know I have to draw this bigger piece, right? And it's all about, getting warmed up, but you have to get warmed up in order to actually produce this really fantastic stuff. But when you're stuck in artist block land, staring at a white piece of paper and you're just like, I don't, I don't got it. I don't, I don't know what to do. If you're going, well, I suck at drawing hands, hands, yes, hands. I suck at that. And then you go, all right, well, I, I started off, I wanted to draw something and, or I wanted to sculpt something or whatever it is. And you're looking at it and you're going, well, I got nothing. But then you're like, I suck at hands. You're gonna go and you're gonna draw some hands, right? And they might be horrible and they might be great, but you're gonna draw a couple hands and you're gonna get warmed up and you're like, oh, well, okay, no. And I'm drawing to say, oh, okay, that's a good hand. Okay, that one's good too. And then you're like, well, I don't wanna draw hands anymore. <laughs> but you're warmed up, you're feeling it, right? You're like, oh, you got better. You drew a couple hands and you're like, oh, I'm getting better, okay. And then you're gonna want to draw, you're gonna want to paint, you're gonna want to sculpt, right? So practicing what you're doing is gonna help you get started. That first step 
that's the hardest one is always that first step that first line it's just i have to do something i know that there there's a story of some disney artist that had to do epcot is one of my professors right and some great artists sitting there and they're like all right well, you got to paint this whole wall full of uh you know from time from the beginning of time to the end of time and do all kinds of artistic stuff and all of these great artists were staring at this wall going uh, what do we do and hours went by and they were trying to figure out what to do and how to start and then the uh, project manager came in and he was like what the hell is going on it's been hours you guys haven't done anything yet and they're like we don't know where to start you know we've got so many ideas and you know, we don't want to mess this up and what are we supposed to do? And the project manager went over and popped open a can of paint and just went right up against the wall, right? Splattered paint all the way against the wall. And the artist was like, oh my goodness, what's going on? And then he looked at them and said, now fix it and walked away. And now they're like, uh, okay because there was a problem that they were trying to solve, <laughs> right? Because now it's like, oh, well, we gotta get rid of this. And then they just started. And once you start, then your creative mind starts working. It's like, all right, well, let's draw this and let's draw that. And let's do this over here and let's do that over there. So if, you're, if you are having a problem with artist block and you're staring at that white paper, draw something that will help benefit you in your own craft or sculpt or paint or code or whatever, but learn something, right? But you gotta sit down and do it. So warm up for 10, 20 minutes by doing something that's gonna help you later on in your craft, okay? It's not for anything. Yes, you'll throw it away. Maybe it's in a sketchbook, which is highly recommended, is that when you start drawing or painting or anything like that, that you get something that you can just throw away, generally a sketchbook, you know, you just scribble in there and be like, whoa, those are awful, but at least you started and you warmed up and you knock off that artist block mindset okay so studying your craft is going to be great and there are other artists and you can even study your craft through your inspiration so you can get some books and you can draw that i did a series called uh draw with me or no study with me and i was the first couple episodes was me looking at alex toth and figuring out how he draws and where does he do his lighting and what lines does he not include and stuff like that so you know I was studying to help me become a better artist so that I could pull on that knowledge okay so studying your craft is going to be one of the biggest and easiest things you can do to help you get past artist block because a it's already inspiring B it's getting you started to draw and C you're going to get warmed up Okay, so studying your craft is a great way to get past artist block. Tip number four. Tip number four is easy. It's such a great opportunity for you guys to actually do something new, is to just embark on these challenges that are out there. Inktober started an entire revolution as far as artistic prompts go so that you actually have something that you can do every single day, right? You just look at it and be like, oh, well, I'm going to draw this or I'm going to draw that. Once again, maybe in your sketchbook or some scrap paper or if you're sculpting or you're painting, whatever, just in stuff that you know you can just get rid of because you don't need it. You don't want it. It's just practice. It's just there to help you get started, get motivated to keep moving. And these art challenges are everywhere, right? You've got Inktober, which is great. And then you know, they've got fantasy prompts and horror prompts. And so you can just pick up one of these and do that. But if you look online, just type in creative prompts. There's all kinds of stuff. The 25 essential expressions prompt, the gender brand bend prompt, uh, there, the hair prompt, the clothing prompt. There's all kinds of things that are out there that'll force you to do something a little bit different than you normally would. Getting out of that rut of doing the same thing over and over and over again will help you stay out of artist block. Because if you're doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over again, it's going to get boring and monotonous and you're just going to be like, I don't really want to draw it. Because, you know, as a person who has worked with Marvel and DC and 
you keep doing the same thing over and this is maybe this is just me but you keep doing the same thing over and over and over again i never once thought that i would ever go man i don't want to draw wolverine anymore but it happens right and once you get to that point you've got to do something else and once you do something else then it's like oh yeah that was really fun okay i can come back and draw wolverine again right so you have to try and draw something or paint something or sculpt something or code something or whatever it is that you do creatively and do something a little bit different. Take on a challenge. Do multiple styles. Do something that's timed. If you're a slow artist like I am, you can take a timed challenge, right? And, and just do 10 minutes and go, hey, I did this 10 minute challenge. Let's see how far I can get. Let's see if I can make something out of it, okay? There's also the one hour, 10 minute, one minute challenge. So there's all kinds of challenges out there that will allow you to actually do something different right it's going to force you to solve a problem that you previously would not be solving and therefore your brain starts producing all of your creativeness and you're like oh man i don't know what to do here all right well let's go let's try let's figure it out and the big thing is is that this is how you should start this is where you need to make sure that you kind of do this before right if you are already in artist block land and you're stuck there then do these right but think about if you did this as your regiment when you first got started. You're like, all right, I'm gonna do this 10 minute drawing before I actually get drawing, before I actually start doing my finished work, before I start concepting, before I start doing anything else, I'm gonna do this challenge, or I'm gonna do this sculpture, or I'm gonna do this little bit of coding to, to do this, or I'm gonna write a paragraph for something completely different. But if you do these challenges beforehand, then you'll always be in a creative state of mind and that will allow you to move forward, okay? So doing challenges is a great way to get past artist block and there are so many out there that I'm pretty sure you can find something that will tickle your fancy and you can just do it and have it on the side. You don't have to finish it. You don't have to present it and be like, oh my goodness, this is all great, but at least you tried it and you got drawing, painting, sculpting, coding, writing, whatever it is that you do creatively you already started as i mentioned before the hardest thing to do is to just get started okay so if you have these challenges there you go you already have something that will get you started and then you just do it put it down if it works great if it doesn't doesn't matter because that was not the point of you know starting that you're just like i'm just trying to get warmed up and feel the energy to do my own my bigger projects okay so you want to make sure that you try these challenges because I guarantee you, I, 100%, I guarantee you by the time you are done with the challenge, so if you have this 30 day challenge and you know you just keep doing them, maybe it's not 30 days, but you, know, you just keep doing these challenges, you will get better as an artist. You will. There's just no way around it because you're trying something different. All right, we're almost there. Tip number five. Tip number five is normally one that is a bit difficult for people to just jump right into, but I, I'm telling you, it helps. It helps so much because the thing is, is, if you are constantly doing the same thing and you're doing it day in and day out, right? And you become comfortable, then you become complacent, then you plateau out, then you become bored, and then you fall into artist block. One of the easiest ways to get past artist block is to challenge yourself to do something different but something that you know. So if you are a portrait artist and you love drawing portraits and you draw and you draw and you draw and you're really good at drawing and you're like, I draw so well and these faces look fantastic, try sculpting it. Try doing it in 3D. Try doing something completely different but that you are comfortable with already. So you're not going, oh my goodness, I have to learn this new thing but I don't know what I'm doing in the first place. So if you can't draw hands, if you're like, I hate hands, I can't draw hands, I, nothing about hands makes me happy, going to sculpt hands is just gonna make you frustrated because you, A, you don't like doing the subject matter in the first place, and then you're gonna try and do something new, and then you're just gonna be frustrated, and then you're not gonna do anything anyway. <laughs> but if you're like, man, I love drawing hands, then putting you to sculpt hands or to paint hands, it's going to be really easy, well, easy, it's gonna be easier for you because you already like the subject matter, okay? So go and do something different, 
in a different medium. Go do something different. It's very important that you flex those muscles that are not being constantly worked all the time. It's just like going to the gym. If all you do is bicep curls, eventually your body's gonna get used to it and go, okay, is that all you got? That, that's nothing. But that's why they up the weight or they change the reps or they work on legs or back because it's like, we need to change this up so that we can continue to grow and get stronger. Nobody just flattens out and plateaus and gets bored and atrophies out. And that's pretty much what artist block is, right? You just hit this plateau and you're just like, I got nothing. But if you ever hit that and you're there, you're like, all right, I, I got nothing. Do what you do and what you love, but in a different medium. So if you are a traditional artist, jump into the computer, do some digital work. I'm telling you, the, the amount of learning that will happen will be so much and you're just like man and yes it's going to be frustrating of course it is because you're learning something absolutely brand new but you're going to go oh wow okay this didn't work blah blah, blah. and maybe you're like this sucked i didn't like this you're going to go back to what you already know and you're going to knock it out the park and that's what's important that's what you want to do you want to make sure that when you go back to whatever it is that you normally do you're on it and you're like yes man i feel great about this but think about this you are a traditional artist and you draw with pencils and you're like man i am fantastic and people tell you you're fantastic and all that's great you hit artist block then you start jumping into the digital realm and you start trying something there and you're like oh, okay this is great you know okay i learned something oh, i feel really good you know i learned that i was able to shade that that sphere really well it looks realistic this is great then you go back and you start drawing and you start adding stuff that you've done digitally and you're like wow okay i didn't know i could do that or wow that's a really interesting idea that i can actually make this happen and so then you go back to your traditional stuff and you do that. And then you come back and you're like, I want to try that digital again. And then you start doing your digital and then you start going back and forth, right? And so now you're going back and forth between digital and traditional and you don't hit artist block anymore. Because when you're like feeling fatigued in one, you jump to the other. When you're feeling fatigued in that one, you jump back to the other, right? And then you can just go back and forth and you can keep trying and re- invigorate yourself into something that you like you're like oh man i really like doing this with digital or i like doing this with sculptor i like to write or i like to paint but my traditional my thing that i normally do is this okay great go do that and then come back right and then go do that and then come back because when you do that like i said you will not get fatigued it's just like going to the gym right so if you work upper body and then lower body and upper body and lower body you're you're gonna become stronger you're gonna become better and that's the idea, right? Artist block is simply something where you have plateaued out and you're like, I've got nothing because you are bored. You are absolutely bored, right? And you're just like, I can't, because a lot of people are like, I got fatigue, like artist fatigue, I don't want to do it. It's because you're bored with doing the exact same thing over and over and over again. So do what you love in a different medium. And I guarantee you that artist block will not take hold so often because you're going to be bouncing back and forth, working different creative muscles, and that's what's going to help keep you out of artist block and keep you growing, which is another thing that if you are still growing, you also will not fall into artist block because you're still growing and you're still doing new stuff and you're going to have that mindset of a child and it's like, oh man, that was fun. Oh, I learned something new. I want to try it, All right? You cannot fall into artist block if you have not plateaued out. If you've plateaued out, that's when you fall into artist block, okay? So you should follow these five tips and I'm telling you, they're going to help you. They're gonna help you just move forward and put something on paper or mold that clay or make, you know, make that model or start coding or start writing. You just have to get past the fact that you're starting something new. And if you utilize these five tips, I'm pretty sure that you won't be an artist block, block as long or at all if you actually implement these things as you move forward. Well, that concludes today's episode of Take 5 with Kaiser. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from it. And if you did, please like, share, subscribe. Let everybody know what's going on. I'm trying to give you this information from all the years of experience that I've had. And if there is a subject that you would like me to cover, please drop me a comment and let me know and I'll make sure to tackle it. So 
I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for your support. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.